Hello my YouTube friends. Today's video is sponsored by StreamTunes, but I'll tell you more about that later. Visual effects in OBS are easy. We can zoom in the camera or even move it around the screen. It's really easy to do. We can use animated masks or animated camera borders. We can remove and replace our background without a green screen. And we can even put a camera tracker on our face that makes it look like we have a camera operator when we don't. It's really, really cool. And all of this is with some great tools that are totally free. Today I'm gonna show you my five favorite visual effects in OBS and they are so easy. So you know what? Let's get to it. Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing and hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Everything I'm gonna talk about today has a link in the description so you can download it and check it out for yourself. And of course, links to more detailed videos so you can learn more about each of these plugins. You can easily zoom your camera with the move transition. It's free and easy to use. The move transition is awesome because of course you can create great transitions but you can also move your camera around the scene in all kinds of different ways using nothing but hotkeys. Here I'm showing you how I can shrink my camera up, move it around the screen, and even zoom in. So how do you do this? Well, you've got to install the move transition, obviously, and there's another video for that that you can check out in the description. But it's a pretty simple process once you have it installed. I'm gonna right click on the scene where I want the camera to move, and I'm gonna select filters. Then I'm gonna click the plus and select move sources, and I'm gonna name where I wanna move it so I remember. In this case, we're gonna call it center. I'm gonna click okay. Now you can adjust these just by clicking the little eyeballs over here to activate them. And what I'm gonna do is select one of the ones we already have that's small and move our camera into the center. And I'm gonna make sure that's selected. I'm gonna go here to the transform and I'm gonna click get transform. Then I'm gonna scroll down here and for our start trigger, and I'm gonna select enable when the eye icon in the front of the filter is enabled and that's all I need to do you can see when I go over here if I just click on these eyes it moves it around to all the different locations and when I get to the center one it'll move it into the center so I can just click close on this and now all we have to do is set up a hotkey so I'm gonna go into settings hotkeys and then I'm gonna scroll down to my scene and I'm just gonna find the one labeled center and I'm gonna go ahead and put my hotkey in there. And then I can apply and click okay. And now we can use those hotkeys to move our camera around and to the center and even zoom it in. Pretty awesome stuff. I love to use animated camera masks in my live streams, but they can be used on any source. Let me show you how they work. So to start recording this, I put the zoom camera we created previously in a nested scene and the main camera in another scene. And now I'm going to create a third scene and we're going to call this a nested scene as well. We're gonna call it the NS-Spike Cam and click OK. Then I'm gonna add one more here and this is going to be NS-Spike Mask. We're going to put the mask in its own scene. Once we're done with that, all I have to do is click OK. Now I'm going to click the plus under the mask source and go to media sources. Then I'm gonna just name this mask one and click OK. Now I just need to browse to find the mask I already created select it then I'm going to click loop so it keeps moving over and over again and click OK so that's what our mask looks like I'm gonna go into our spike cam I'm gonna click the plus and I'm going to select mirror source and we're gonna talk a lot more about mirror sources later but you could just select the camera here that you already created if you choose so I'm gonna name my mirror source so I know what it is we're gonna call it spike cam and I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna drop this down and select our cam source and generally for these you may not want to enable the audio you might want to just add your own audio it is up to you I'm going to click OK and now all I have to do is right click on the source go to filters and click the plus under effect filters and I'm going to grab my dynamic mask and we can name this I'm gonna call it spikes and click OK then we select our spike mask right here with this drop down so we're going to select mask one source and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom 
and we're going to select the green input under the alpha channel and we're just going to give it a minus one and it's simple you can just select here and type minus one on your keyboard or you can use the slider whatever works for you and when we click close you can see our spike mask is up and running it's awesome and the spike mask is using a plugin called stream fx and you can find out how to create the spike mask and install the plugin in a video that's down below in the description you can just click on that linky great music can take a good stream to the next level every live stream or video needs some sort of good music right but how do you find good music for free that's not going to get you strikes to your live streams or your video today's sponsor stream tunes is the answer now stream tunes is a hundred percent free platform of high quality dmca safe music and it's always free no strings attached no bogus signups nothing just free not only that but stream tunes is available on spotify apple amazon and most if not all streaming services including youtube music and they have a library of more than 800 songs and it's growing by the day another really cool part about stream tunes is that every time you play their songs on any of the services a donation is made to music counts and this charity helps to keep music programs going in high schools all over canada and that's that's just awesome. Be sure to check out Stream Tunes for yourself. There is a link in the description. And like I said, it's totally 100% free. Now back to the OBS effects. The third one is so simple, but it can make a huge visual difference in your live streams. The first thing we're gonna do with this one is create a new nested scene. I'm gonna call this one NG Animated Cam Border and click OK. Then I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna add a camera. I'm gonna use the source mirror to add the camera and I'm gonna name our new source mirror Border Cam. Then I'm going to select our cam source in the dropdown. Now I'm going to go ahead and shrink it up just a little bit and I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna add a media source. We're gonna call this media source border. I'm just going to go and select a video. It can be any video that has any sort of motion or movement. And we're going to loop that video and click OK. And that is the full video that you see right there. We're going to just drag it below. And we're going to kind of resize this. And the goal here is just to get a light edge border around the edge of our camera. And if you want to make sure that the borders look more even, you can use the Alt key to kind of adjust them up a little bit by cropping one edge or the other with the Alt key. So you just hold down the Alt and you drag the little points. And once you get this situated the way that you want it with your animated border around the edges, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a main scene. So I'm just gonna click the plus under scenes. I'm gonna name this scene main, click OK. I can click the plus, go to scenes, and I can add in our animated cam border and click OK. And there you go, you can see what it looks like. And I'll just shrink it down here and once I unselect it so that you're not seeing the red edges, you can see what the animated border looks like. It looks pretty awesome. But you know what? We've done a couple of other things here. Let's add those in as well. So I'm just going to click plus. I'm going to add a scene and we will add our spike mask. Click OK. We'll shrink that up. As you can see, one of these effects doesn't affect the other effects. And we'll talk about why that is a little bit later. But using a nested scene allows us to add all of these different effects in there. And you can see even the one with the move transition is added separately and does not affect the other two effects, which means we can use all of these in completely separate scenes to have different effects in each scene. You can remove your background without a green screen and there are actually a few different ways to do it in OBS. The method that I'm going to show you is one that works really well, but it also requires an NVIDIA graphics card. There are two other methods that work without an NVIDIA graphics card and should work on any machine. They'll be linked in the description below. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new scene and this is gonna be a nested scene as well. We're just gonna call this NS background, click okay. Then I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to my source mirror once again and we're gonna call this source mirror background cam click OK I'm gonna drop this down and select my cam source again and click OK then I'm gonna right click on the background cam and I'm gonna go to filters now I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna select virtual green screen and click OK. And there's really not much to change here. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in quality mode. You can put it in performance if you like, but quality seems to work better. And then I'm going to select the NVIDIA option right here and click continue and there you go. Now my hair has lots of 
frills and stuff hanging out. So we're going to get a little bit of the blue background through that. But if you have short hair or hair that's not quite as flippy, yours will look even better than what this looks. Now I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to add a media source. And I'm just going to call this background and click OK. I'm going to browse to a background that I want to use. Click open. I'll go ahead and loop it and click OK. We'll move it below our camera. There we go. And I'm just going to shrink up my camera a little bit as I would use it in a regular scene. And there we go. So now we can flip over to our main scene and we'll go and click the plus and we'll add scenes. And I'm just going to go ahead and add our background removal scene and we'll shrink it up, put it up here. And as you can see, once again, this does not affect any of the other cameras that we've already set up. I absolutely love the face tracking effect. It makes it look like someone is operating the camera, even though they're not. It's all in the software. The face track feature is another epic one. It's so easy to use, but it does require an NVIDIA graphics card. It also uses the stream FX. So I'm going to click the plus down in the bottom left to add a new scene. We're going to add a nested scene. This one's going to be called NS face track. Then over in sources, we're going to click the plus. We're once again going to select source mirror, and I'm going to call this one face track cam. Click OK. Going to drop this down and select my original cam source once again and click OK. Now in this case, I'm going to right click on the scene for this and I'm going to select filters. I'm going to click the plus and go all the way to the top where it says auto framing and I'm going to select that and click OK. And there are bunches of settings in here and you could play around with them to get the look that you want. I'm just going to select the preset NVIDIA down here and then I'm going to change this up. Instead of having a 16 by 9 camera, I want more of a square camera. So I'm going to go ahead and select a square aspect ratio here. But you can use different ones like this one right here. This is a 19 by 6. And if I just select the regular 16 by 9 and I can show you that it does track your face and all that kind of stuff. Go back in here one more time and select a square aspect ratio and click OK. Now we can flip over into our main scene. We'll move the spike face cam a little bit. And I'm going to click sources and go into scene. And I'm going to select my face track and we can just shrink it up and once again you can see that it will track my face and it does not have an effect on any of the other cameras there is a link in the description if you want to know more about this feature and it is really cool and easy to use now the bonus effect is a must-have if you want to use a lot of different effects for your camera in the same stream now this bonus visual feature is one I've been using throughout this entire video and that is the source mirror if I had done a lot of these effects directly on the camera you would only be able to do it once and then every time you use that camera in a scene it's going to have that effect but if you use the source mirror you can apply different effects to the exact same camera which means that you can have all kinds of different camera effects in your live streams like I said if I applied the spike mask to the original camera every scene that I use that camera in would use the spike mask but by using stream effects source mirror I'm able to create all of these different effects with all these cameras and use them in the same scene or in different scenes to add a lot more variety to my live stream and it's a game changer if you want to learn more about other ways to remove your background without a green screen you should check these videos out big thanks to the channel sponsors there are links below in the description so you can check them out i couldn't possibly do this without them or you so thanks and if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.